Crafty Kinder Crafty. Excuse the little scratchiness in my throat. I'm getting over a sinus infection. It's taken me forever because I was in denial about being sick for about a week before I actually went to the doctor. <laughs> so excuse the nasal um, tone you hear, but I've got my new um, infinity scarf on that my husband brought home last night because it's actually chilly here. It actually feels like fall. So anyway, what I'm going to share with you today is a craft I did with my son like a month ago. I uploaded it and totally forgot to put it up on YouTube. So it is a little bit dated, but it's not a Halloween craft. It's definitely fall, so you can still do it with your little ones. I hope that you all had a great, um, safe and happy Halloween. And if I can, if I remember, I'll insert a picture of my little boy and I in our Halloween costumes at the end of the video. So enjoy crafting and happy Monday. Okay, you all, for this fall kids craft, you're going to need some watercolors, paintbrush, and um, a little cup for water, brown tempera paint. You're going to need the do a dot markers in red, yellow, orange, and green. You're going to need some Elmo's, Elmer's glue, and we have some orange sprinkles, but any fall color, red, gold, um, would work too. So we've already started. He um, chose red to cover the whole watercolor, the whole um, paper. This is just white Crayola watercolor paper. So that's the first step. Your kiddo will choose one color and cover the whole background, the whole white paper. Let it dry, he's napping, and then when he finishes, we'll do the next step. Okay, you all, and this is my super awesome tip for painting, if you're painting their hands or just painting with little ones in general. This is Crayola, it is washable, but it's a dark color. So I always mix it with liquid soap and they wash up so easily. So even if it gets on their clothes, it will wash right out. Okay, so I'm gonna mix up this brown paint and then I'm gonna paint his forearm, the underneath side of his forearm and his hand. Okay, you all, and so this is how the print turned out of his little forearm and his hands. So this is like the trunk of the tree and the um, limbs, and then we'll add um, the leaves next. The next step is you're going to use your do a dot markers to make quote unquote leaves on the tree. So just in a random pattern, we used all those pretty fall colors to form um, leaves on the tree. This part is optional. We decided to add a little glitter. So we just um, dotted the glue and then we added some beautiful orange glitter. So now we're gonna shake it off and reveal our masterpiece. And here's the final reveal. I think I'll probably cut, you know, just freehand scalloped around to make the shape of a tree and then I'll probably frame it. So if I do, hey boys, mama's filming. So if I do, I'll show you what it looks like all framed up. I'm going to switch out this painting that we made with his little handprint for the 4th of July. It's been hanging up in his room and we're going to put his beautiful fall tree in its place. So I'll show you when that's done. And that's it, all framed up. There's something about framing kids art. I just love it. So this will be perfect for the fall season. Hope you all enjoyed it. See you next time.